Welcome back to part two of this two part series with the brand new Naruto cosmetics. We did cover the first bundle last night to include the gear bundle and the glider and the weapon ramp. So we did the tools, we did the emote in game, we did all that fun stuff. And now we're doing the Gara and Hinata bundle here. So we have two edit styles here. Fair enough. Cool, cool. The back bling is the sand gourd pretty bulky there but i'm sure it's um very accurate to the show you can only use this glider with gara so keep that in mind it's a sand cloud <laughs> we have the hinata skin as well two edit styles and we can change some of the facial features if we come down here looking at the face here we can change it so that's interesting both edit styles you can change the facial features the back bling here um, pretty common, pretty basic there. And then we have a loading screen again, which is pretty cool. As always, if you'd like to use me as your supporter creator, that's PIZ0, Pizza with a zero. You know, we're getting it. Yes. So in the first video, I went into a BR lobby and I kind of did my gameplay the way I used to before we had creative and stuff. And I saw some mixed emotions about it. So I decided why not take it back to a creative map and you know, I think I'll go back and forth whenever I feel like going into a BR lobby I will when I feel like coming into my creative lobby I will that was my first time doing that in this map here. So we have the wrap here Looks great ADS is fine, but the back bling is whoo wee a little bulky here a Little bulky. I will say that Change my materials. I like building in steel. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. Regardless, um, yeah, it's 6.30 in the morning. I'm a little tired. <laughs> Went to bed at midnight last night after I got done with the first review. It took me a good three and a half hours to get that done, but I want to point out you can only lose. The, you can only lose. You can only use the glider with Gara here. So check it out. Like I can hear the sand in my ears. Like when you go to the beach, you got sand in your ears. I can, oh, I can feel it. It's gross. I can feel it. All right, let's change the edit style. So is it too much having the sand gourd on this edit style two times? Or is it cool? Like, I don't, uh, obviously I don't know the backstory here, but I, I, I don't, I think it's, it's almost too much, but it's kind of cool though. Cause it does kind of go together. So what do you guys prefer? Creative maps here and there? Do you like the BR uh, gameplays here and there? Maybe just mix it up, keep it fresh. I thought it felt fresh yesterday um, going into a BR map. But you guys let me know. Regardless, let's do the emote here as well. Combo time, baby. Just like the first episode, we're gonna cover the base model for the combos. Um, it's kind of an interesting combo there. This was kind of fun, a training bag for sure. Um, obviously it's doing like great, looks great. I would not wear this, a lot of clipping down there. Um, eh. uh, yeah, yeah, that's what it came with, okay. Um, trash lid, not terrible. I do like universal bloom here. Again, it's really tough to make things look great on this art style. So it's, it's kind of hit or miss here for sure. Um, the back bling is, I mean, it's really bulky. But I do like it with Balbros. It's probably my favorite here with any of them. I think it's really fun there. Do they need sand? I don't know. But it looks cool, right? It looks pretty good. Again, with the wrap. That's what it came with. All right. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know. Part of same set, part of same set. Okay, okay. I like reviewing that. That was fun. Okay. Still looks pretty good here, but it's huge on her. It is so much. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Baba Yaga, pop those words, please. But it's pretty cool on her. Safari's not bad. Um, Obviously, she's in the sand a lot. I'm just saying. On the Safari. Um, trigger fish. <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> like, what are you going to put this on? What are you really going to put this on? I don't know. I just want to thank Flysheeny for updating the creative map for me here with the new season and the new items. I think the grappler adds a little bit more 
of a interesting review since it's currently in the loadout in the game oh yeah you know th this skin is simple but i like it hey no very cool there so the glare in her hair is interesting for sure right like and that's not a band is it because she's got the she's got the headband around her neck i thought the ninja band maybe it's just the art style this is look bad though we changed it here to Oro Orochimaru's uh, harvesting tool. Now we can't use that that sand cloud anymore, so we have the Amanda here. Which color scheme is 10 out of 10 with her? 10 out of 10. Really cool here. Okay, change the edit style. So we have shorter hair now, a little bit different uh, clothing here, and I did change the facial features. I don't know if we'll be able to tell when we're aiming down sights. You can't even tell. Okay, well. At least we know it's there, guys, right? We know it's there. <laughs> I think I like the first edit style more, um, if I'm being honest here. I do like the jacket here, but I think I like... Um, I just like the way it looked with the first edit style. But I do believe that this back bling does match this style a little bit more with the tan shorts and the tan on the back bling here. If we look at the original style, I guess we could say it goes with her, her sleeves there. See, she does have the ninja headband around her neck. So, it's interesting. I wonder what we can wear. Hey, you're in the right place. Let's find out. Let's start off with the KO back one here. It looks fun for sure. Um, we have the Black Ops mask. We have all four edit styles we can use here, which is nice. Um, you will have some minor clipping here. Keep that in mind. You can see right here. So, you know, it's just something to point out. Um, I'm using pretty much every Naruto back bling that we have in the game. Um, just because it is cell shaded and it looks pretty cool most of the time. That looks pretty cool. I don't mind a little bit of blue here, but we do have that purple on the side as well that we have on the outfit. Um, so it's fun for sure. The sand gourd, the scroll. Now, Whisper Pack Purple still looks really good here. That looks cool. Blood Moon Rising, love it, love it, love it. Obviously, it changes over time to a full moon, which is nice. Um, cell shade here. I kind of, I'm like, I don't mind the bright blue one here at all. It looks pretty nice. Um, the hollow back, I should have unfavored that. My apologies. The plasmatic gear not bad cobra coin i like it on a lot and then contender does she need a firearm absolutely not but we gave her one just for the review here <laughs> everyone relax the wrap on the starter style cosmetics um looks really good looks really good um uh, not a huge fan of that really it's not terrible though giddy up's kind of fun haven not bad now yeah is it is it difficult to put something cell 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 shaded on a non cell shaded outfit absolutely it is very difficult um but we're still we we still kind of tried here and there okay all right okay all right okay yeah 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 change the eye color gotcha um this one's interesting right it's kind of interesting this looks pretty good actually cell shaded as well even though the hair clips you can't really tell because the back bling is that thick we have the yuki skin as well and then the zoe class and she, she's cell shaded does it really make a lot of sense not really so this is what i'm going to say for me i thought doing the actual br gameplay was a lot more interesting for me to create because i feel like i'm connecting more with the game rather than going to a creative map even though it's done very well you, you know, just let me know what you guys prefer. I'll probably do both. All right. But I did enjoy going into a BR match and just kind of having some fun instead of going into a very controlled environment. Regardless, with that being said, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. That's supporter creator PIZ0 with the Adam Shop. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the live stream. See ya.